Good afternoon, everyone. Jason here. Today is October 30th, and this is your aftermarket update. All right, we had another really good day here at the Oil Trading Group. In fact, uh, we have had a number of really good days this month. And let me show you this here. If you go back uh, into the 23rd, so the 23rd of October was one week ago today. All right, so there is, if you include today, one, two, three, four, five out of the last six trading days, you'll notice here that we've had double digit ES point winning trades, plus 10 points, plus 20, plus 19, plus 11. And today we had another 11 point uh, winning ES trade today. So the markets have been very volatile, which is always a good thing. Uh, but with that increased volatility comes increased risk. So one of the things that we've done here is we've taken our risk from two lots down to one lot just to make sure that we can withstand uh, some of these really aggressive pushes that we've been seeing here recently. This, uh, we had a, it could have been a really awesome day. It actually turned out to be a good day here. Uh, it could have been an awesome day. Again, trading one lots. Uh, this, pur this purple, this gray line here represents uh, what we talk about is one of our sweet spot retracement areas. Market comes right down into it. Uh, I was a little bit uncomfortable getting into this trade here uh, as the market was really coming down off of these highs. Uh, but we talked about it in the trade room, and I kind of hemmed and hawed. And my initial, I did initially put it here. So let's go back here. So I did initially have an order here uh, that I was going to, to put on the chart here. And the market comes down in double bottoms right about one point. Uh, away from my level. Then the rally here, and again, this is what I talk about with that increased volatility. Uh, the rally from this here up to the structure signal here, or the mid rather, is eight and a half points, right? These are single bar eight and a half point moves. Then the market comes down, doesn't quite get to the low, rallies back up here and goes almost 10 points on that move right there. So 10 points, one bar, five minute chart. Those are really big, big aggressive swings. And so uh, what I was looking at here when the market came down, again, I was a little concerned that I was going to get filled and maybe, you know, steamrolled here. So I took that order off the chart. And if I had left it on the chart, uh, this sweet spot retracement would come up. Eventually, it's going to come up all the way to here for 28 and a quarter points. Now, I did not take that trade, and I just pointed out only to say that it was available there. Uh, but the reason that I did not take that trade, I just kind of described to you, these are some pretty violent moves back and forth. And so what we did end up doing, though, is we said if the market comes down here, this holds and stabilizes, then I'm going to be looking long over the top of this MS mid, which is one of our market maker levels, and it's the one of the overnight uh, structure levels that we look at here and that uh, we were going to be looking to target all the way up to uh, this structure target up here today. At the, uh, You're going to hear me say that's going to be the target, or we were even looking higher all the way into that extension one, which would have been a 37, uh, th correction, 31 point move. Anyway, the market comes back and forth, goes up and down just a little bit. I eventually get in. It's not here when I get in. It's when the, It's on the break back over the top of this. Right. And then the market rallies and kind of pushes back and forth. And I get trail stopped out right here on this pullback. So I'm in at uh, 5475 right here off the break of this level. And then the market pulls back here, takes me out. And then the very next bar comes up and gives us what would have been about an 18, uh, almost 19 point ES move. As it was, uh, I ended up with another 11 point ES trade of the day. And I'm going to show you that here in just a moment. Uh, but what I want to show you, the other thing that I want to show you here is just how cool these market maker levels have been in this extreme volatility, right? So if you turn this off for a second, we're going to remove this. This is the open, right? So right at the pit open, the market comes down, touches your daily structure signal, and we talk about kick the signal and pay the target. Now, if you are playing these levels just out of the box, right, and a lot of our traders do, then there's 38 points, right? Right from the structure signal all the way to the structure target, and then sold off all the way down here into your structure mid, and then the market rallies again right to that structure target, and begins this process of selling off here into the session, and eventually all the way back up here, we were looking at extension one as a target on the day, and there it takes that extension one out. So these levels giving you really good opportunities. I get asked all the time, how is it that you can hold on <clears throat> 
for these really big targets. How is it that you're able to do that? And if I point you back here uh, to this YouTube channel, you'll notice here that as I'm scrolling down, there are just page after page. In fact, there are over 400 at this point, uh, trade of the day videos that go back all the way back uh, into, you know, two years ago, right? And so uh, we're able to hold on to these extreme moves because we have extreme confidence in our levels. And like today, uh, when we were looking at our overnight levels, which is our entry point here, right? We were looking to carry it up to uh, what we call our daily structure levels or the RTH session. That's right up here into this area here. And so, you know, again, it gives us the confidence. And again, I get asked all the time, how do you have the confidence to hold on? And how do you know that it's going to do that? And of course, I would be lying if I said that I know exactly what the market is going to do. Nobody does. But what I do know is how the market behaves around our support resistance areas. We have a whole process that we go through every morning where we talk about the structure, what we think is going to be happening, what the underlying trends are, and then that gives us the context to be able to make decisions around our levels. Once we get into these levels and we make those decisions to get in, then it really just becomes our job to hold on for these bigger targets and try to sit through it. And when the market is as volatile as it has been recently – it provides us with excellent opportunity, and those excellent opportunities have really shown up here in the month of October. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually in a CL trade, too, by the way, that I get into here. Uh, you'll see me get into a CL trade. Uh, that There's a discussion there on that CL trade that we could talk about for a while. Bottom line is here's what we were looking for the market to do. I, I should probably go ahead and have this discussion with you. Uh, the market comes down. We said that if the market gets down here to around this 50 area, we were going to look for a bounce, right? 50s are kind of the organic support resistance. We drew this entire process out on your chart prior to this event occurring, right? And so what we said is the market's going to come down to 50. Then we wanted to pull back over the top of our extension one. This blue box represents the 10 tick range that is around these, uh, uh, around these uh, support resistance zones. We were looking for it to pull up here back down and then we were looking to get long on a breakout through here and that's exactly what happened it took a long time if you were in the trading room today uh, there were a number of people that said man i don't think that that's going to happen like that today jason and guess what it actually did <clears throat> and so we get in here i get stopped out for plus 15 ticks what you're going to see on the chart or on the price ladder when you see is that i'm going to be up 15 ticks uh, on the day already then when the market breaks out over the top of this zone Knowing that this was a continuation of this move here, uh, the market rallies up through this zone. We were looking to target all the way up. We said into this structure signal around 80. The market rallies up to 88. Uh, I get trail stopped out on a pullback right into this area right before it goes all the way up. So I end up with a, uh, I think I ended up with a 14 tick uh, CL trade, maybe a 12 tick. Anyway, you'll see it on the video. Um, and that's how the CL trade worked out. So all in all, uh, we ended up with... Uh, a very handsome trading day here uh, on both of these markets. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the trade of the day. They're kind of mixed together. Uh, you're going to see me get into an ES trade. Then you're going to see me almost immediately get into that CL trade. I will cut these trades down into pieces, speed them up, put some music behind it so that you can see uh, and kind of get through the end. And then you'll see where the exits are on these trades as well. So um, that's how we do our trade of the day videos. You're going to have two trades here to watch today. So without further ado, here are the OTG trades of the day. 55, 54.75. I'm in long. One lot. Target right now is somewhere between 74 and 86. With a stop at... 37 in long at 37 the stop here is 24 the es stop here is the es stop gosh d geez hang on it's got to be 50 half <laughs> Thank you. 